Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and today I'm excited to finally show you a big release for Evernote 10. I know many of you have a hate-love relation to Evernote since they started changing things, but I have a feeling they're really getting back some pace here. They need to look into the future, they're adding new features and I know it might be slow for many of you, you still can go back to your legacy version which is good. You know there is are some workarounds, but I'm sure 2021 will become a great year for Evernote. And one thing I'm still waiting for is backlinks. Reference referencing other nodes. This is something very common now since 2020. Look at Notion, Rome Research, Obsidian and so on. Referencing other nodes is really powerful. Today it's unfortunately not backlinks that is coming to Evernote but another great feature and something I was wondering for a long time already. Why is this not available on other tools as well? It is actually a dedicated task section and what this means we will find out now. Okay, so we are in Evernote and they already released a nice home feature. I really like this new look and all this, I have to say that. So this was already an advantage, but let's create a new node. And the issue I have with so many other nodes is that when we create a checklist, like to do one, then it simply is a checklist, okay? And I can check this off. That's it. So this is how we were working with tasks. And the thing that I really think is very obvious to me, why can't I search for checkboxes, open tasks or something, you know, some way to find all my unchecked boxes. It's the same for Notion and so many other tools that don't allow me to actually search for unchecked boxes. And I can't understand why this should be so difficult from a technical point of view, but it would already have helped to show me all the open tasks. So now we have a new feature in Evernote that actually allows you to do this. And this happens by adding an actual task instead of a checklist. So there's a differentiation between a checklist and a task. So let's create a task and that's it. And now we see already on the note itself that there's one uncompleted task on there. So if I have now also a place where all the tasks show up. So here you see now the task by note. So you see all the notes. I can click here and I jump to the note where this task is in. I can also say by due date if there is any due date or flagged. So let's stay in by note. I can even create a new task there. And by doing this, it automatically adds it to the node. So there's already a connection and I really, I really like how they implemented this. And now let's go into the node again and click on the task. And here you see more options. So I can click there and I have a due date. Let's make this today and let's make this tomorrow. And we also can flag this one and we don't flag this one. We can set a reminder, remind me at this time. And let's make one more task and let's set the date in the past. So it's overdue. So you see already the visualization. It is a real difference. Here is a simply checkbox. You know, if I have a project where I build something and I'm just checking off or grocery list or something like this, checklists are great. So I like that they now changed or they made two different versions of tasks. That's what I really like. So we have a checklist and we have tasks. And looking at this now, you see here the indicator that there is a reminder and we have some flagged. If you go here, you have really the flag task. So you can use this to prioritize your tasks as well. And by due day, so we have the overdue section to do and tomorrow and so on. And the completed. So it's very satisfying whenever you tick off these, they go away because they are open. However, you see it down there, the completed tasks from this note section. And here as well, we see the completed task coming up here and completed flag task. So now we can also search for the task and so on. We can filter the task by completed, by due date, location. So you could now search for the different tools and just show me the task of one specific notebook and who created it. There's not much more about to about this to say. I expect going here to the widgets, there should come a new widget maybe for the task where I can see a specific node in the task or something like that. But we have it here on the side that makes it very easy to do this. You have always these quick new buttons and so on. And the good thing is this is available on iOS as well and on the mobile versions as well. So they really keep what they actually said. They stay consistent throughout all the 
tools. And I think personally, this goes really the right direction. I'm not using Evernote for my task management or note taking. I'm using Evernote since ever actually for document management. So I'm scanning with my Raven scanner. So if you don't know what the Raven scanner is, it's a, it's a document scanner. And I made videos about this as well. It's a cloud scanner and it scans directly my documents into Evernote. The reason is the search in Evernote is still so powerful compared to other tools. I cannot scan to Notion, for example. I would have manual interaction in there. Here, I scan in and forget. I could scan it to G Drive, for example, but there's another level of organization in Evernote where I still stay in Evernote. But looking at all these features coming now, like the tasks, implementation and the home section and so on, this keeps me having a closer look and rethinking if I could use Evernote maybe in a different way in the future, maybe for note taking and so on. Looking at Notion, Rome Research and other tools where I have backlinks and building up knowledge databases like in Notion, I think Evernote has still a long way to go when it comes to knowledge management. But those features, they're certainly going into the right direction and if you want to stay up to date about the latest releases of Evernote, Notion, Craft and other tools that make you more productive and make sure that you subscribe to this channel and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and I'll catch you up next time.